What the? I brought you here to speak to my master. Where is he? I am right here, Robin. You. No. It can't be. I watched you die. Yet here I am. Born anew. So you came here for revenge, huh? Not at all. I came to offer you a spot as my apprentice. If I ever see you again, Slade Wilson, I'll knock your teeth in. Dad? Yes, Rose. You're alive! Join me. Come back to me. Help me win Robin over to my side. No! You can't ruin things like this! She's dead! What happened? I did not see. Look, Robin, I'm sorry I- Don't even try to talk to me right now. Not you. Yes, yes, Cinderblock, I haven't forgotten the deal. I will cure you of the affliction given to you by Professor Ivo. And why would I want your help? I will help you find out who tried to frame Rose. We can have justice for her death. As long as we don't hurt the Titans. <gasps> Titans! The Shadows. Your father knew them well. As do I, Slade. What's your point? My point is that you don't always use the Shadows to your advantage. If that continues, you'll end up like my daughter. She killed herself. It's that simple. Well, based on what you've told me, your friend Cyborg might as well have been the one who drove the sword into her. No, that's wrong. Maybe she did attack him. I cared about her, but there's no denying that she was unhinged. Yes, as you say. Now, you'd better hold up your end of the deal. We need to find whoever framed Rose for trying to set off that bomb. Oh, I agree, Damien. I agree wholeheartedly. So, uh, I get it now. What do you mean? Uh, I I'm sorry, Dad, for getting upset with you over the plutonium. Clearly things aren't any safer at Titan's Tower, what with the bomb almost exploding. Victor, it's okay. There isn't anything to apologize for. Oh yes, there is. Guardian! You can't keep her from me! Wait, stop! Boy! Where are you hiding, Ravager? She's dead, alright? What? She's dead, man. So there. Cyborg, take me to your tower and tell me everything that happened leading up to her death. And then we found her body. Her own sword was covered in her blood. It was suicide. No. It wasn't. How do you know that? You don't know Deathstroke like I do. While I may be old-fashioned, I can understand strategy. What are you suggesting? Look, I don't know what Deathstroke's endgame is, but I'm quite certain that he's been playing Robin against Cyborg here. Why? To cause dissension, of course. Deathstroke likely killed Ravager with her own sword to make it look like suicide, and finally drive Robin away from the team. That's his own daughter. The Lazarus Pit can change people, and I'm sure that that's how he came back from the dead. So, where would Robin be now? I'm not sure. He could be dead for all I know. God, I'm so stupid. How did I not see this? You're still learning. All of you are. I'm willing to offer a truce here. We put aside our differences, and we bring Deathstroke to justice. You cold, sir? Yes, Wintergreen. Cinderblock's usefulness has run out. It is time to be rid of him. 
What about the cure he wants? He just wants to be free of his hideous form. By the time we're finished with him, he will be. Have you finished editing that audio footage yet? Nearly finished, sir. Good. Have you found Cinderblock's accomplice in Framing Rose yet? No, but I found Cinderblock. I know his location. <sighs> it's over, Cinderblock! I'm here to take you down. No more escaping. <sighs> I want you to know, I'm calling the police, and they'll be here shortly. Hello, Cinderblock. <sighs> Thank you for your dedication, but your services are no longer required. <sighs> this is clever, I'll grant you that. Using the radio of the comm tower to scan all frequencies around the city. It's bound to pick up Robin eventually. Just swear to me that you'll never do this again. Okay, I swear it. I've done enough already. What are you talking about? I let Robin down as a friend and as a teammate. For falling for Deathstroke's schemes and never trusting Robin's instincts. It's my fault he's so emotionally unstable right now. No. Listen to me. This is Deathstroke's fault. And his alone. You know I'm right. Well, you said you knew something? Yes. Now, we're not friends, but it does pain me to say this. Cinderblock's accomplice turns out to be Cyborg. Really? You're gonna play games? I should never have trusted you in the first place. I quit. Cinderblock, I planted it. Rose is finished. How did you obtain this audio? I'll admit it. I bugged the tower. You! I knew it! Even so, I wasn't the one who tried to set off the bomb. It was clearly Cyborg, as the audio recording specified. I don't believe you. Don't deny your senses, Damien. You did just hear it. Cinderblock, I planted it. Rose is finished. So... have you sensed anything? No. Robin's alright. I'm sure of it. You can't be sure of that. I'm just trying to be positive. I know. Thank you. Well, it was a good try. Yeah, I guess so. Robin? Yeah, Robin. Hold it! Whatever you think is going on, it's not real. Deathstroke's behind all of it. Shut up. I heard the audio from the buggy planted in the tower. He played it for me. You're in league with Cinderblock. What? Okay, enough. Now, Robin, listen. You're probably still suffering from a head injury, and your emotional state isn't helping anything. Oh, not a word from you. Think about it, Robin. He had us bugged all that time. And you don't think he could have ever manipulated audio? I... I... You need to settle down before you get yourself hurt. Titans, on me! I managed to get a tracker onto Robin. He's pretty unstable right now. Did you edit that audio? What was that? You already admitted you bugged this Howard. Did you edit that audio? I won't talk to you like you're an idiot. Yes, I did. You... you are unbelievable. You are at your best when you're angry. You may not have noticed it, but I certainly have, Damien. Either way, Cyborg's doubts of Rose were inevitably what led to her killing herself. That's not true! Ah, must have put a tracker on you. Robin, attack! Don't do it, man. Robin, don't! I'm finally bringing you down, Wilson. You never could before, Guardian. Robin, you're my friend. I'm tired of fighting you. 
Deep down, you know that Deathstroke's playing you. I'm sorry for how I acted around Rose. I know you cared about her, really thought you could help her. Maybe you could've if I hadn't been so doubtful. Robin, let me cleanse your mind, just like I did all those months ago. Slade! Yes, Robin? I get it now. You killed Rose. You accuse me of killing my own daughter. Okay. Yes. I killed her. It was all I needed to drive you over the edge and toward me. You belong by my side as my apprentice. What? There's been a growing darkness in you over the last several months that you simply cannot ignore. Take advantage of it. You're right. There is a darkness in me. It's in my blood. It's the same darkness that ran through my father's blood. No matter how dark it gets, I'll always find a way to push past it and stop scum like you. Being dead really must have hindered your reflex, Deathstroke. If I can't have Robin, then Robin can't have his friends. Cinder block, don't The building is about to collapse. Thank you. If I can't have death stroke, I'll take Wintergreen. He'll be put away for a long time. You kids aren't half bad. Okay. Guys. I'm sorry. For everything. I shouldn't have doubted any of you. Dude. All of us have gone through a lot within a short period of time. I'm just glad you're back. Agreed. Now things can get back to normal. Since when have we ever been normal? Regardless, it is a glorious day. Glorious isn't the word I'd use. <laughs>